Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode one of my Skyblock Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network, that you can play with me on Java and Bedrock. Info down in the top pinned comment and description below. All right, so you get to choose whatever island you want to spawn in with, and I just chose the basic one. It's gonna be exciting. I have some very big plans for this series. Very, very big plans. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed. Okay, so we probably wanna get some basic tools going. We got the normal fixins in here, which is good. And uh, let's just get some wooden tools, maybe a cobblestone generator going. I do wanna make sure we, we make this platform as big as possible, as soon as possible. So I'm gonna like expand this out. It's been a while since I've like played a Skyblock Let's Play. I don't actually know if I've ever done it on my channel. So this is kind of fun. That's all the slaps. I, no. So, well, that's, that's, that's one way to start it off losing. Oh, there we go. We just got one. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's make sure we just plant that back. Maybe even plant it a little bit over. And let me mine all these to see if we can get another one real quick too. Okay, so everyone's seen like Skyblock Let's Plays a million times, but since we're on my server, everything here is custom. So if we do slash IS, which is just island and upgrade, you can see we have all of these upgrades to work towards. It's absolutely incredible. We even have our very own lucky block. We'll get to that in a little bit. And uh, we have an auto cell chest. So there's so much stuff to work towards. You can make crops grow faster. You can make your island like cobblestone generator, wherever you choose to build that, generate more than just the regular stuff. So let's go ahead and make a cobblestone generator here. I'm just gonna build the most basic one ever. And you can see my lucky block down there. So I do remember that water falls like this and then the lava flows into the water. And we have our, so I think this will work. I'm pretty sure it works, so let's just see. Nice, okay, let's go, dude. So, we won't just generate cobblestone. That's the really, oh, we can already make a stone pickaxe. We won't just generate cobblestone. And the reason is, is that there's a lot of stuff to do on this version of Skyblock compared to like a normal one. And uh, some people like it, some people don't, but I encourage you to try it. I think it's really fun. Now, one really good thing to do as a new player whenever you start out is do slash vote. Um, because that can give you, um, first of all, you can get gift cards to buy stuff on the store. Uh, but you also get vote ranks, which is really cool. This just gives you like boosters. If you want to see what boosters you get from voting, you can just do slash ranks and look at all these. Now, I've already voted on this account. I've never played before, but I've, I've been voting for the server because it's my server. You know, I want to help it. And uh, because I've been voting, I already you can get four vote keys per day just by voting. So we're going to do warp crates. We're going to go to the vote crate. Okay, and we're gonna hope nobody notices me. I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna use all four at once and see what we can get. Now, whatever we do end up getting, I'm probably, oh, let's go, dude. We got some spawners and some gold blocks. Nice, okay, let's go back to our island with IS Go. Now, it's actually a really good thing that we already got these spawners because that's a big part about server Skyblock is killing mobs. And although our island isn't very big yet and it's gonna be kind of hard to kill them, this will give us a good source of food. And you can see you can stack the spawners up, which is really nice too. But I'm gonna be grinding for quite a bit here. You can see you have doll on the right side, you see that square bird, you have dollars, sky coins, souls, XP. If you're kind of overwhelmed right now, that's understandable. But if you watch this let's play, it's gonna make a lot of sense. And you're gonna understand why this is such an addicting version of Skyblock. Um, the sky coins are important because that is what you use in this IS upgrade menu. So you can see if we wanted the island generator to generate better stuff. And if I make my GUI a little bit smaller like this and went back here, you can see more of like the information. Um, so we need a thousand sky coins to do that. And you may be wondering, well, this is gonna take forever if you're just mining like this. But a cool feature is you can do slash missions and you have all these missions. You have personal missions and all these tiers of those. You have your island missions and like 10 tiers, which is super cool. And you even have daily missions. So spend 5,000 sky coins, that's a little bit difficult. Purchase two, that's, most of these are pretty difficult except earn 15,000. Um, also every day on the server, make sure you do daily spinner and this can just give you some good stuff. So let's see what we get. Um, oh, we got an auto sell chest, no way. Okay, that's actually really good. So you can't put it down next to another chest just because it's an auto sell chest. But basically, if you wanna see what your auto sell chest does, do IS upgrade, go in here and you can see that right now, every 3, every 300 seconds or every five minutes, it'll sell everything in the chest for 70% of its value. And you can upgrade this a ton and eventually get it to 100% of the value in like every 30 seconds. So it's super nice to upgrade. 
And yeah, you can do that daily spinner every single day. And it's just a really good idea, a good idea to do it. Cause you can get all of this stuff just, I mean, it's completely free. You just come in here, you can get all these keys and stuff It's super cool. Um, and then the last thing that I'll tell you that's like important on the server is to make sure and check out slash grind pass right here. So it's kind of like a battle pass. There's a free version and a premium version. The free version is awesome. Every like, so for a thousand kills, you get $5,000. And there's 100 tiers of stuff. Now, some rewards are premium only, um, but like for example, like this is a free reward. You get a tag to use in game, which is super cool. So to access your tags, just do slash tags. And yeah, so like I have a bunch of tags, which is awesome. Maybe I'll put on the, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll put on the the midnight tag, and then I'll say hi and chat, and you can see down there it says Neo Cubist, but it says midnight before it. So anyways, enough explaining. I know that was a lot, but you can always go back and watch it. Oh, some iron. I want to try to get some iron tools going. Um, so you don't enchant like the regular way either. Um, like if I wanted to enchant this stone pickaxe, I could. You go here, you go to enchant shop, and you can see you can just get the basic enchants. Um, there's also custom enchants, but like to be honest with you, we don't have nearly enough XP. But there is a ton of custom enchants that do a ton of cool things. So I'm excited to get to all this stuff, dude. I'm so hyped to do this. I'm not sure why I haven't done a Skyblock Let's Play yet, but this is something I've been looking forward to. So let me grind on here for a while. I'm gonna do slash sell. Basically like one of the overarching goals of server Skyblock is to put down these value blocks. So if you just do slash IS block values, you can see that putting these blocks on your island increases your island value. Now, some people compete, some people don't, some people play just to build. I'm more of a play to build kind of guy, but if you want to compete for IS top, which is the command, then you can, and you can see all these people are competing and we have the number one island at the top. And uh, this season did just start on Skyblock, so it has a long time left. So if you want to start playing, now's a pretty good time to start, especially if you're going to be competitive. If you see this long in the future, we may be on to another season or whatever, but at any point you can play and it's going to be fun. So I'm gonna grind this out for a while until I get at least enough to make myself, I'm gonna make two furnaces first of all, um, but at least until I can make myself an iron pickaxe, cause until then it's gonna be slow going, especially until we get some more wood. And then this is probably the, actually the last thing you wanna work towards is do slash mastery. And uh, for example, for mining, every time you mine a mastery, every time you mine a piece of cobblestone it increases your stone mastery. And you can see eventually you can get up to triple sell price of cobblestone. And it's like that for a bunch of stuff, but each one has unique stuff. Like, isn't that cool? Like, if you get your Emerald Mastery up, you get 100k on login per player per day, which is super cool. There's Masteries for cutting down wood, farming, which is a big one, killing mobs. There's absolutely a ton of stuff. There's even a whole other nether dimension, which gives you a completely new island. I'll explain that later on in the series. But the biggest one is we want to work towards a super pickaxe, which we get by reaching tier one mastery in six different categories. So we could get it here, 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 and here. And then we would get ourselves um, the super pickaxe. But we don't even get these blocks in our ore generator yet. So we really got to work towards upgrading it. And it looks like, I didn't notice, but we have over a thousand sky coins. So let's go ahead and get, oh. IS deposit sky coins. So you have to make sure you do that and then enter the amount, which is a thousand. And now we can go to IS upgrade and upgrade our island generator. Nice. So you can see it went from 65% of the time to stone to 57% of the time to being stone, which is good. Less stone, more ores. Basically, there's a lot of stuff on the server, like so much to learn, so much to grind, and it's a blast. So no trees have grown, but I did realize I could just go to the shop and I could go to mob drops and I could buy myself a bone. It does cost like 5,000 for one. So I'm only going to buy two. That's six bone meal. And let's see, can we get a tree? Okay. We did actually get a tree, which is good. And we got another tree, another tree. Oh, I thought we were going to go for the, I thought we we're going to go all the way. It looks like my, uh, my player's swimming for now. So that's fine actually. So now we can make ourselves an iron pickaxe, which is gonna be so helpful. I'm also gonna show you guys how to build a really cool cobblestone generator probably in this episode, because, well, first of all, let's throw this junk off the map. We don't even need that anymore. Let's get this stuff smelting. I don't really want this, so we can just put this in the auto cell chest and let it, let it do its thing. And can we stand up? There we go. Let me get the wood real quick. So you may have noticed, like whenever I break a block or whatever, it appears at my feet. That's just a server on the feature, or that's a feature on the server that you can turn on or off by just doing slash settings. If you don't like that, you can turn off feet drops, just click on it. 
and now when you break stuff it'll appear like it normally would i personally really like it it means you don't lose stuff from your cobblestone generator and keep in mind you can do slash is settings and change a ton of other stuff which is crazy like you can you can turn off these two holograms like originally there will be this here just to kind of help you start out and once you don't need it anymore you just click this button a few times and then it just usually turns off um, you can also just do slash is as well you can change your island biome which i have mine set to jungle which makes it really cool and there's a ton of stuff to do you can play with your friends like if your friend only has minecraft on their phone and you have it on the computer you can play together so bedrock and java can play together all i want and both platforms can play which makes the server really accessible that was a big thing when i started the servers i wanted everyone to be able to play not just java okay so i'm pretty sure that we have enough money to build ourselves a better cobble gen because i'll be completely honest this is like the worst kind you can build so I'm gonna do slash shop, and we're gonna buy ourselves uh, some water buckets. They're only 200 bucks a piece, and we're gonna need about eight of them. So I think that's about eight, and then you only need two lava buckets, so they're not expensive at all. We'll buy three just to make it maximum efficiency. Um, and then to do this, I would make like this many stairs, somewhere like this. And we honestly probably wanna make our island a little bit bigger, so we're gonna go ahead and do that too. And let's make our island just a tad bit bigger. Um, we're going to build a nice little area for our cobble gen. So this is the best early game cobble gen you can build. And it is so nice because it's so much quicker. And uh, when you unlock the super breaker ability, which is something you get by... See, every time I mine at the top of my screen, you'll see the MCMO level is going up at the top. When you get to mining level 50... Oh, we got our first diamond! Let's go! Nice! Uh, but when you get your mining up to level 50, you get an ability called Super Breaker, and you'll just right-click on your pickaxe to use that. See, it says you need 45 more levels of mining. And that allows you to mine, like, really fast. I think it gives you, like, five levels of efficiency for, like, 10 seconds or so, something like that. And uh, that's an ability I think you can use every five minutes. Okay, so we have a bigger area. Uh, the first thing you want to do is just build a line of cobblestone. Very, very simple. Something like this. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And we're going to build a nice hopper system to collect all of our drops. We're going to go all the way, guys. We're going to be making the most OP island we possibly can. Uh, the beginning part is always really fun, but there's a lot of grinding involved. You want to build up two blocks like this. Build over a block. And then all you have to do is just place your stairs like this. Pretty simple. And you want to go ahead and repeat that on the other side as well. And once you have one stair down, you can go ahead and fix this. Once you have one stair down, you can go ahead and just like break these blocks. You don't need those anymore and build those all the way to the edge. I need a few more stairs and I did forget one thing. We're going to need a sign as well. Um, probably two sets of signs. Now you may be like, Neo, how is this a cobblestone generator? Well, I'll just show you, man, because you can do this like not on a server too. This isn't like a server specific thing. This is just like using the new feature of water logging a stair. Now the traditional cobble gen works fine, but let me tell you right now, dude, this one is so much better. So just put these signs on the end, trust me, you're going to have to do it. And then take your last remaining cobblestone and just build up like that and then do the same thing over here. And then go ahead and fill in the space in the middle. Super duper easy to do. And trust me, you're going to want you're, you're going to want to see this. Okay, now with all your water buckets, go ahead and just fill all of them in. We may not have enough, but that's okay. We still have $36,000 to go ahead and spend. So I'm going to buy that real quick. We'll just go to the shop. Super easy. Click on the brewing stand and buy a couple more like that. And there we go. And we can stack the old buckets. I don't even, I don't think you can sell buckets, but it's okay. You're probably going to need them anyways. You definitely only need three things of lava. So how this works is it basically like it thinks that this is a block of water, right? This is a waterlogged block. So when the lava tries to touch it, it just turns into a material. So put one right here, like somewhere like right here and then like right here. And look at this. Oh, there's a piece of diamond. Nice. So the lava tries to flow outward and it can't because there's a water block there technically, according to the game. And what this allows you to do, so we have two diamonds now, which is nice. Um, what this allows you to do is make a cobblestone generator that you can sit here and go crazy on. Now, right now, it's not super helpful because we only have an iron pickaxe, but we'll have a diamond one hopefully in no time. Um, I'm going to save these diamonds to go ahead and get that uh, diamond pickaxe. But I'm going to look at my missions and I'm going to see what my personal missions are uh, because you can get a nice pickaxe, I believe, by doing... 
yeah, right here, you can see at the bottom of the rewards is the specialty pickaxe. Uh, now to do this, we have to mine 500 blocks and 45 coal ore and 35 iron ore. So let's get to work on that. Hey, there we go, dude. Okay, so we just got our third. Yes, let's go. Now we have a diamond pickaxe. This is so much easier already. Okay, so I'm going to do slash enchant. I'm going to upgrade this pickaxe and I'm going to try to get some efficiency, a little bit of fortune. We have 20,000 on the right side of the screen over here. We can get another level of efficiency and probably want to get an un... Oh, we're so close to getting that. If I did slash sell, I bet this is at least 300. Nice. So we can go back here and now get one level of unbreaking. Let's go. Oh, there's another time. Nice, dude. Things are just looking up, man. I'm feeling so good about this. Look at the power of this pickaxe, man. It's already so much faster. We're on our way to that NCMMO level of 50 at the top of the screen. And we can get Super Breaker, which I'm very excited to show you. So it's probably a wise idea before we end up accidentally selling these diamonds to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And then we probably also are going to have enough iron to make an iron axe soon. So we'll throw this off the edge. We don't really need that stuff. Um, we don't need any of this either. Um, yeah, if we can get enough here, I'm going to make myself a hopper and that'll be super helpful. So one thing you could do, like for instance, since you have feet drops and everything always goes to your feet, all you'd have to do is break this block. I know it takes forever because I just threw my axe off the edge. I always regret doing stuff like that the second I do it. And we don't actually have enough wood to make a, a second chest, but that's okay. We'll just have to wait for those to grow. Uh, but we don't want to, you know what? Never mind. I'll get back to that in a second. But you can see we have tons of mobs stacking up. So I'm going to sit here, grind some of those. We can get some food. And you can also sell their drops. But keep in mind, if you run slash spawners, you can see we need to kill 12,000 tier 1 mobs. Which these are both tier 1. And then we also need to buy 100 tier 1 spawners. And you want to buy the cheapest one in each tier. It's just the smartest way to do it. So 100 times 25,000. I can't do it. I think it's that's 2.5 million dollars. So... It's definitely an overarching goal, and you got to keep in mind you can get all the way up to tier 7 spawners and start grinding vex, and each one of those spawners costs 9 million. So you start to earn more money the later and the, the, the harder you grind, the more you grind. Um, ooh, you know what we can do? We can go ahead and do the most satisfying thing. We're going to go ahead. Oh, and by the way, a really cool feature that nobody knows about on the server. If you get obsidian accidentally, just right-click it with your bucket. Just because it's so annoying having to start a new island. And you can just pick it right back up. But yeah, I just wanted to pick this up because we don't really need this anymore. Um, how many minutes do we have till we can break our lucky block? So you can break it. We have 17 minutes. The reason it, it says that is I accidentally broke it. Uh, I had started recording, but I messed up. And uh, yeah, you can break it 10 times every hour. But in your IS upgrade menu, you can see that you can upgrade it to be um, up to 20 breaks. You can't see it because my GUI is too big. So you guys can read everything. But you can upgrade it to level 11, which gives you 20 breaks an hour. Now, every time you break it, it upgrades the loot that it gives you. So it's a good idea every hour to keep breaking it. Trust me, it's worth it. Now, it's probably smart that we start growing these things early on because crops are really expensive, but they're a really good way to make a whole lot of money. So since we do have dirt here, I'll just go ahead and like just put a little bit of water down and then we can go ahead. Oh, we can't even make a hoe. We don't have enough sticks. We really need these trees to grow, man. Um, but like for sugar cane, we can go ahead and plop that down. It's just a good idea to get started on those like very early on. That way you don't have to wait for them to grow later. Ooh, I just thought of a really good thing too. So we're going to do slash RS is short for rotating shop. Either one works. You can do slash rotating shop or just RS. And you can see that sugar cane is, oh, that's actually really nice. So sugar cane, you get a times three multiplier. Um, and it re it looks like it just reset. It resets about every one and a half days. And uh, the stuff on here will just give you more money for selling it. So you can see that sugarcane, wheat, and cactus, which is awesome, are both on a three times multiplier right now. So that means the usual sell price for sugarcane, you go in the shop, you went to farming and food, usual sell price is $5.62 a piece. Right now it would be worth like $15 a piece, which is super nice. You can also see that if you just like have the sugarcane and you do slash sell and you hover over it. You can see the multiplier says it's worth $16.88 a piece, which is awesome. So we definitely want to get this growing. It probably shouldn't have picked it up, but I really wanted to show you that. But yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing for a while is I'm going to be just grinding this cobble gen. 
and uh, getting enough money so we can expand the island, build some farms, get some cool builds done. I want to build like a starter base. I mean, you don't have to have one because you're in Skyblock, but I always think it's really fun to do. I don't know. If I'm honest, my guilty pleasure on, on this Skyblock is these cobble gins. I just love how it just randomly generates stuff. Like, I mean, getting diamonds from your cobble gin is really cool. So our tree did finally grow. Um, and I'm going to make myself a diamond axe. Uh, I can't yet because i got to get a piece of wood. We're never going to have this problem ever again after this point. Okay? We're never going to... We have all the tools. Uh, we have a little bit of extra wood. And we can also sell that extra diamond. I think those are worth quite a pretty penny. Yeah, 163 bucks a piece. Now, once you have like Fortune 3, you got to keep in mind that that's really, really good. Because you can get a ton of money really quickly. But the main thing for mining is that it's the best source of sky coins in the game. So you can see we already have 2,800 sky coins. I don't remember exactly what the next upgrade is. It looks like it's 5,000 sky coins. So we do have to keep saving those. But just keep in mind the best source. Oh, there's a piece of diamond down there. I didn't even see that. The best source of sky coins in the game right now is mining. So I'm just looking in the masteries menu because if you look, you can get at tier five down there, a super furnace recipe. It's a second line up from the bottom on this little gooey screen. The super furnace is basically a furnace that has the like enchanted glint on it. And it basically enchants things like 10 times as fast. So it's super duper nice. Um, but it's a good idea to smelt everything because one of the missions I believe for in, in your personal missions is just smelting stuff. So smelt 2300 cobblestone and 1150 ores. And if you do that, you can see if I make my GUI a little bit smaller. Most people play with a small GUI. They always ask me, why do you, why, why do you have to keep switching it? Um, it's because when I record, it's kind of hard to read everything when it's this small. Uh, but you can see you get a bunch of cool stuff. And there's just a lot of really cool missions. But yeah, like if my GUI is this small, let me know in the comments. If you're on a phone, that's, that's the big thing. Can you still read everything on the phone if my GUI is this small? Um, and if that's the case, I'll leave it this small in future videos. But just let me know in the comments. That would really, really help me out. Okay, well, it's definitely time we expand our island a little bit. Things are definitely feeling a tad bit cramped, and we do have a lot of cobblestone. So I'm just going to go ahead and use all of our cobblestone to make slabs, and that'll give us... Oh, yeah. that ca Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. It's only, it was only four. It was only four. Um, and we should probably sell, like, the stuff we don't need, like lapis. Anything we can't smelt, we'll go ahead and sell. We don't even need the diamonds anymore, really. Uh, I may as well just make a diamond hoe. That way we just have like a forever tool that we're using. Um, and then we can't even use these things yet. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Can smelt up some more food as well. That would probably be a smart call. Um, but yeah, what I was saying with this right here is that eventually your inventory is going to get full when you're mining. So it's always a smart idea. We don't have like a ton of wood, but we at least have enough to do this. We're going to go ahead and craft ourselves just one hopper. Easy peasy. And then we're going to grab these chests, and then we just need one trap door or two. Either one works. And then if you don't have fly on the server, which by the way, when you do slash vote, you don't have to ever pay money. You can just vote. So like right after you get 40 votes, you get yourself a $5 Bycraft gift card. On the store, the ability to fly, which you get forever throughout every future season, is like $4 or $3. And that will just allow you to be able to fly, which is super duper helpful. Um, so if that's something you want to do, I would highly recommend just voting just so you can get the ability to fly. So we're going to put a chest right here, right? And then a hopper on top. And then I'll just put one trap door here. And that means everything that we mine um, will now just go straight into here. Now, of course, it'll probably go into my inventory a little bit. But like if my inventory was completely full, for instance, after we've been mining for days and days, then you'll see that everything is just going straight into here, which is super helpful. Okay, so expansion time. Obviously, I don't want my island to look like this forever, just because uh, that'd be kind of crappy if we just had like a boring old island that looked like a, you know, hodgepodge of materials. I'm trying to go for the best looking island on this server. Now, there's some pretty crazy builders on the server, I will admit, but I think we, I, I think we can hold our own. You can also move your lucky block this season. The command to do that is just is space set lucky block, just like that. And it'll put it right where you're standing. So I was just going to move it because I just want to make sure um, that we get all the dirt here. Because uh, dirt is really expensive just because you can farm on top of it. And if you use the basic Skyblock Island, it's just a very good idea to collect up all the dirt very soon after you start. And I'm just going to collect all this. 
There we go. And then I think there's one piece under me here. And we didn't get it, but that's okay. We'll break these leaves out. And hey, look, we got a sapling. Nice. Things are looking up for us, though, guys. They really are. And then I am going to break all the wood, but probably after we get a little bit of a platform built. Because I think for now, I'm going to start off just having like a cobblestone platform rather than having it made of wood. So it'll be pretty easy for me to do. I'll, I'll just do it on the replay mod. I'm just going to convert this entire thing into a cobblestone floor. We'll probably change our, our gen, out, gen out and not make it cobblestone. That way it doesn't look weird. Um, also, if you hold down shift while, while you break spawners, it'll just like put them all in your inventory so you don't have to break them one by one. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, well you can see that I have expanded the island and transformed it into a cobblestone wasteland. I don't love it, but at the same time we need a good area to kind of spread out and start out. Um, you can also see that our auto cell chest did sell what was in it. Keep in mind, whenever the auto cell chest sells, it goes to your IS bank. So you can see that we have 409 in here. You can just click on the gold ingot and then type in 409. And then I successfully drew $409. Nice. Now I'm, now I'm a little bit richer. But I do want to move all this stuff. I feel like it's in a bad spot. Um, mm, I say that, but let me get like a house built first. We still have some cobblestone in here, which is nice. But we'd, I'd rather build it out of wood. So surprisingly, we went from four saplings to two. It's just because we kept growing them as kind of like little chunk trees. So I'm just going to like break out a little area here. And then we can use this for farming trees. Like I said, it's just good to spread things out because first of all, you're going to get more saplings. Obviously, we don't like have enough to get anymore. But yeah, we'll just leave it like this for now and we'll just have to wait. So I'm just going to be grinding for the time being until we get those trees grown. Then we can build a house, make things start happening. So believe it or not, when Neo Network started, we had like, you know, 200 people on. And then we, you know, later on in the season, it got really small. And now we have 400 people on. We're actually the fifth biggest Skyblock server in the world. If you go to minecraft-servers.net or com or whatever it is, that's like the top Minecraft server website. And that's what your votes do. They help promote the server. And we have the fifth biggest server in the world right now, just for Skyblock server, which is incredible. We also have an SMP, which I've done a series on, which is really fun. I'm not stopping that, by the way. That's going to continue on. Yeah, I'm just very proud that I actually own this server and it's the fifth biggest in the world. Like, as an owner, you know, a lot of people don't really care about their servers, but I'm on here every day. I'm helping players. I'm doing a lot of stuff. Uh, make sure you're in our Discord server. Link is also in the description. If you ever need help, you can make a ticket and I or one of my amazing staff members will help you out there. But fifth biggest Skyblock server in the world. You don't want to miss out. Trust me. Okay, guys. Exciting times. We just reached level 50, so we're going to... Right click on our pickaxe and look at this. Look how fast we can mine stuff now. It's only for a short time, it's already worn off, but the higher your mining level goes, the longer you can break stuff like that, which is super cool. Our efficiency level's really, you know, low anyways. I think the next level is pretty high cost. It's like 17,000, but we'll get that in no time. Oh, you know what I should have done too? I need to plant my sugar cane. Ideally, I need to plant most of these things. So let's go ahead and just sell um, all the stuff in my inventory that I can't like directly smelt. I want to keep the coal for now, but a lot of this stuff you just want to sell. It's just a good idea. And we got $8,000, which is nice, but let's just start growing our sugar cane. So we'll put this here and then we'll put our water bucket down right there and then put our sugar cane down. And then I believe we have a pumpkin and a melon seed in here and we can go ahead and just start growing those too. So of course you need to put down four pieces of dirt so that they'll actually properly grow. Boom and boom. Nice. Okay. We're making progress. I think we can break this now. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So we just got 10 H tokens, which you basically get. So whenever you kill mobs, you get these things called mob heads. And uh, whenever they're in your inventory, you do H token convert like this. And that would convert them into he head tokens. And then you can use them in the head shop or slash H shop. And you can buy boosters. And boosters are really helpful because, for example, you can buy Skycoin multipliers. Uh, you can buy a ton of stuff. Um, you also get souls from killing mobs. And uh, if you do slash soul shop like this, I think you can... Can you do SS? No, it's soul shop. So if you do slash soul shop, you can see you can buy like an infinite lava bucket, random spawner. You can even buy permanent ranks on the server. That's what's cool. It's like you don't have to pay any money. Like if you don't want to, you can just buy... You can just grind and get everything. So you could buy a permanent rank, which is cool. And some nice tags. Uh, well, let's go and put these back down and go through our lucky block. Because there's a potential that we get some really good stuff from that. So 
What did we get then? Okay. So you can see we're getting all these little value blocks and stuff in here. We just got $5,000. Nice. Bunch more stuff in our inventory. We have a cell wand, which is really cool. So if you get a bunch of these cell wands, you can do slash merge cell wand. Let's say I had two five use cell wands from the lucky block. You put one here, one there, you click this button, and then it would give you a 10 use cell wand. Of course, we only have one. Um, but the function of this is pretty simple. Like, let's say if I wanted to sell everything in the chest, you would just right click or left click on the chest and it would sell everything in there automatically. Super helpful. Super, super helpful. Okay, 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10. So it just gave us a bunch of crops, which is actually super, super helpful. Um, I don't think we can make those into beetroot seeds. So we'll go ahead and make those into dye and we'll make some red dye. You'll see why in a bit. It's fun to build with red dye. Um, ooh, it gave us a ton more sugar cane too. It gave us some wheat so we could make some food if we needed it. Um, but let's go ahead and just start farming a little bit. So I'll go ahead and break this out and make a little area of dirt. And we can plant all this stuff down, which is super nice. I was actually really excited to see that. Cactus is a really good way to make money since you can make it fully AFK. So if you're a big cactus farmer, I'll show you how to do that later on in the series. You want to get something called a crop hopper, which will basically any any crop inside of a chunk. You can do slash chunk borders if you're on bedrock. I don't like using that. Um, since I'm on Java, I can do F3 and G to show our chunk boundaries. Basically, every crop that you break inside of an entire chunk will go into this special hopper, um, which means you can make fully automatic cactus farms, set them up with that auto sell chest and make tons of money. You're allowed to AFK all you want on the server. That's not against the rules, um, but we don't have one of those yet. Cool thing is you don't need to pay to get one or anything. I think it's in your island missions. I believe like see right here, you get an auto sell chest just from earning 500,000 as an island. You can get an ore hopper, which does the same thing, but with mining drops. So anything you mine inside of that chunk will go automatically into that hopper. And then right here, you can get a crop hopper, which is harvest 1000 crops as an island. So keep in mind, you get all these island missions for you and your friends to work through. Um, and for us to work through on the series as well, which is exciting. Um, so let's go ahead and plant these potatoes down. Probably going to make a different area for the sugar cane, if I'm honest, because, you know, you have to farm it in kind of a different way. But let me get all these crops planted and we'll see how she looks. Okay, so we have most of our crops planted. I'm just kind of making this thing into the largest that it can be. Um, you can even use your super pickaxe, like if you're building and you want to be able to break stuff quickly. It's, it's just it's just like a super helpful little effect that gets better and better the more you grind. Um, but we have our tree grown, which means we could put a little fence around this if we wanted to. And we might not even have enough dirt to finish this. Just keep in mind that dirt is expensive. And uh, it, the only reason that it's expensive is because you're gonna need it to farm. And you're gonna make your money back with it pretty dang quickly. Okay, go ahead and till all this. And there we go. Now we have it all tilled. I left these two open just so hopefully the melons will grow onto there. But if I'm honest, they can grow here or these two blocks too. So we may wanna actually break these. Um, we got them back, right? You don't get them back when you break the stem. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not going to be mining p melons and stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. We, we could just have to buy them from the shop, but you can get something called a farmer's harvester. Let me make my gooey a little bit smaller. And the farmer's harvester is really nice. So you can get up to like farm fortune 25. So let's say you break one piece of wheat, you may get like 50 wheat at a time. And you get that upgraded just by farming crops. It's the same way with a super pickaxe. You can get it up to fortune 15 just by mining. So if you mine one diamond, you may get like 50 diamonds at a time, but that does take a long time and a lot of grinding. And then there's also the Slayer Blade, which is the equivalent of mo the mob grinding tool. So tons of stuff, man. I just, oh, I cannot even explain it. I want to grow ideally some sugar cane since that's in the rotating shop. And it's really the only thing we have. We don't even have any wheat planted, which is unfortunate. We could buy some in the shop, but like, keep in mind, man, it's really expensive. It's 9,000 per one. So ideally, I mean, we have 9,000, but let's wait until we have a little bit more money. We'll just start with potatoes. Now let's say you think, oh, well, these are growing kind of slowly. That sucks. Well, you can make things grow super fast. Um, let me do this again. Um, you can see that for this, you can get up to a 100% increase. So a double in crop growth rate just by upgrading it. So let's do IS deposit sky coins and we'll just deposit all 6,000 and we just got $10,000 because we completed the daily mission spend 5,000 sky coins so if we look at our missions and our daily missions you can see we completed 
Oh, we got both of these. So spend 5,000 Sky Coins. We got that. I, I didn't even know we got that. Those automatically get redeemed, by the way. You don't have to like click it. And uh, we did this one too. The other one is 250 damage to any boss. So if you do slash D boss, there's actually like a dragon boss you can do. We're going to do that later in the series, not for now. And we definitely don't have enough XP to do that. But once you do all your daily missions, you get a special prize too. So we deposited those Sky Coins. So let's do IS upgrade. And let's go ahead and upgrade our generator to get to level three and then upgrade our crop growth rate to get to level two. So we got to keep our eye on this because when we get 700 more sky coins, we can upgrade this thing again, which is nice. So let's make a sugar cane area. Means we just got to buy a little bit more dirt. Not a problem at all here. Um, we have $19,000, which is a lot. Uh, we only have 16, so we just need to buy this much. And that should give us enough money if we were to do enchant i think we can buy another level of fortune which is probably what we want and then let's see here we don't have an infinite water source so that's kind of stupid of me but i'm gonna have to waste money on another bucket it's okay it's not a big deal like at all um then we can make an infinite water source i don't want to put it right there let's go ahead and put it a little bit further over I'm just miss clicking like crazy today man sure we'll put it right here so I'm gonna put like a solid block right there. Uh, do this, go down another block. That way we can build ourselves a little area for this. Super simple design, but trust me, it's gonna work and it's gonna look cool. Probably. It's just gonna be some water on the ground. <laughs> if that's what you think is cool, then yes, this is the coolest design ever. Okay, so now there's water right there. We take our other water bucket. Boom. Nice. So now I'm gonna make a sugar cane farm. So ideally, like I said, I mean, you, that's what sucks about slabs is always going to waterlog them. So mm, we have the 16 dirt here. So I guess we could put out one piece of dirt here. And then for every water bucket, you can put down like four pieces of sugar cane. So if you click it on a solid block, you won't have a problem. So there's four pieces of sugar cane. And then technically, if you put a water bucket right here, then you can do the same thing. And let me just maximize our space efficiency here. We don't even have to have the spawners here. I just kind of plop those down by habit. Nice, so I'm gonna do this a couple more times and get all the sugar cane down. And technically this is not the most efficient. If you want the most efficient, let me show you. Um, oh, we do have a diamond shovel. Man, I thought of everything. We have all diamond tools now. So you can kind of see like how this is not perfectly efficient, right? So if you want a sugar cane to be right there, then you would technically have to break this block and then you can put sugar cane down in all four of these areas. So if you just do this pattern, then you can basically fill up every single slot in an area with sugar cane, aside from the, you know, the one that has the actual water bucket on it. So there we go. Now it's maximum efficiency. And then if you wanted wa if you wanted like sugar cane right here, I think you'd have to put down water bucket right there. So something like this. I think this is maximum efficiency. Don't kill me if it's not. I think this is the pattern. Yeah, see? It's really compact. You could put one down right here as well. Nice. And then this is going to be the rest of it. So now we have as much sugar cane as we can put in the smallest of areas. And that's the thing. If your island gets too small, you can just do IS upgrade. And it is expensive, but you can upgrade your island size all the way up to 150 by 150, which is huge. But you start off with a 50 by 50 island, which this is probably like a 20 by 30 area. So we still have a lot of room if we need to grow. I'm really hoping we get a lot more saplings because I want to build a fence around our farm. I want to I want to end this episode getting a starter house. We've already done like an absolute ton of stuff. Okay, make sure to get those saplings. Oh, we completed the island miner mission, which is just breaking blocks basically. So let's go to slash missions. The island missions you do have to claim. So we'll go into here and you can see it has the enchant glint, which means complete. So we just got a thousand sky coins and an ore hopper. Nice. So that's really cool because if our generator is inside of one chunk, which it is, which is actually perfect. So everything I break inside this area will go directly. If I can pick up the hopper. Oh, my inventory is full. Oof. Um, everything will go directly into this hopper. So I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna put the ore hopper like right here And you can see it, has, it says ore hopper on it And now everything will go directly into here. I believe we had one extra trap door, but I don't know Yeah, we do still have it in our inventory Let's go ahead and Face this one that way 
And there we go. Now everything we mine in this area will go straight into the ore hopper. You see, it doesn't go on the ground at all. It literally goes directly into here. And then subsequently into the chest. And again, if you're on bedrock and you want to see where the chunks are, just do slash chunk border or chunk borders. Either one works. And it'll show you the exact same thing that Java does. You could turn them on at once if you wanted to check it, but it's really cool. I mean, we try to add a ton of features like that, you know, help bedrock and Java players work together to build awesome islands. And look at that. We got six saplings this time. So let's go, dude. Don't have any more dirt. So we're going to have to spend our last thousand dollars on like three pieces of dirt, which is unfortunate, but it, it it's a noble thing. It's a noble thing because we need that dirt, man. We need that dirt. I have the itch to expand, but I'm, I'm limited by money. So we got to try to make some more money. <laughs> Hopefully we can it'll start to go you know quickly because once you get these crops growing and the sugar cane growing and you're sitting here and you're mining this there's just oh you see what I mean about it being addictive man oh I can't quit okay so I organized the chest a little bit and keep in mind everyone on the server regardless of your rank you have two personal vaults so if we do slash PV you can see I have PV one and two and if I just did slash player vault one you can see I can put stuff in here and store it for safekeeping and it's basically just like having a chest on you. So that's probably where I'm gonna store my spawners and like sell ones in the future. I'll probably put my spawners and like, you know, any keys that I earn and stuff like that. Cause you gotta keep in mind, like if you do missions, you can earn keys. Now on the tier two, I think is when you'd start to get those. Uh, mine 2,500 blocks is an island. We are getting somewhat close to that. So we may get that, but like, I don't know if any of the first ones give you, oh, and there's also the mob hopper. So right, it takes all the mob drops you get from a chunk and puts them into a chest. I don't think any of these give you a crate key, but some of these yeah like this one gives you a cosmetic key which is cool um but yeah some of the higher tier missions will definitely give you crate keys okay so the next time you see me will probably be like after an hour of real time passes because all i'm gonna do for the next hour is just oh actually i'll come back whenever this double chest is full because we just have to wait for trees to grow so that i can build a starter base i won't mine any crops we'll have to come back and see when those are grown too but i will be upgrading our um crop growth rate so i believe we needed 2500 for the next one so when i come back it should be at like level three or four something like that now one thing i might do guys i know i came back immediately i have a habit of doing that i said i'll come back in an hour and i will uh, but i want to show you everything i'm doing I don't, I don't i'm not gonna play this off camera or anything we're only gonna be like maybe in future episodes like i'll grind some crops off camera or something but in the first like you know five three four five episodes Everything is going to be on the camera unless I like tell you I'm going to sit here in mine But I want to have some more chests and we do have that extra hopper from the first time we crafted one So where did I craft it? Did we throw it? Where did we put? Oh, okay. It's right there So we'll put that down right there Um, I wanted to make another hopper and then another set of chests too Just so that we can make this have like three double chests of storage. That's just a good idea one two one two Okay, and then we have two hoppers. So it's a little tricky, like I said, if you don't have fly, but just vote and buy fly. It's a really good idea. I'm just gonna make some ladders. Um, eventually we'll get fly, like, but I don't know. I may play without it. I kind of like playing without it because it's a little bit more of a challenge. Um, so I'm just gonna build some ladders down there. And then of course, we're just gonna put a hopper here and then getting double chests is gonna be a little bit tricky. We may wanna like do something like this. And go over here and then we could put a double chest here then we got to go a little bit further down so i can hop over into the water go a little bit further down build over again look at this dude i'm kind of an expert man you always always get mad at me because i'm not very good at minecraft but look at that dude it actually ended up working out pretty good and i believe we have enough ladders to make it to the top yes we do perfect and then we can cap it off with our very own trap door and now we have a nice little area um, yeah, now we have a nice little area and this will just basically fill up these chests So you can see the bottom one's already getting filled up So we have three double chests of storage now for our mining stuff and then just build a little platform here Obviously, I don't love how everything's kind of you know hanging off with the water, but we'll fix all this We're gonna make it look beautiful eventually. It's just for right now. We, we're gonna keep it simple for right now All right, well, I just finished eating my Jimmy John's for dinner and, uh, you know, I was gone for maybe 45 minutes. All the trees have grown. I bet we can do our lucky block again. All of our sugar cane has grown. And, like, 90% of our crops have grown. So this is a really good situation to be in. And this is really going to put us far ahead.
All right, well, let's just go ahead and harvest all the crops. And you can see they just go at your feet, which is super nice. And uh, I know not all of them are grown, but I don't want to, like, sort through them all. Sugarcane is one of the things that won't always go to your feet just because of how sugarcane works. There's that top piece. But you can see we already, like, we remember we had 16. Now we have 32 to plant, which is awesome. I don't know about our carrot numbers, but they're definitely up. The economy of Neo's Island is doing well. So if you guys want to visit my island, I may set up in the future a warp. So you guys can come here and check it out if that's something you want to do. And uh, that'd be kind of cool. You could come on the server and check out my island. And, uh, you know, I can always see you guys in chat. And I might go explore some other people's islands in future videos too. So if that's something you want to see, uh, play on the server and let me know. So let's go ahead and just fill in this central block with a slab. And then I'm going to go ahead and expand this thing off camera. We don't really have any more money, but I did mine. Oh, I was like, where'd all my stuff go? Someone stole it. No, 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 no. Um, oh, oh, yeah, my cell wand. I was like, where's my cell wand? It's in my PV1. So we're going to go ahead and grab our cell wand. We're going to go down here and we're going to sell everything that's in our chest. So like this much stuff sold for $4,000. Nice. Now we have 5k to work with. Should be able to buy enough dirt to make our sugarcane farm big. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we'll click on sugarcane. Purchase what? No, no, I just bought sugarcane and not dirt. Why did I do that? Why did all my, oh, I wasted all my money. No. <laughs> I wasted all my money. Do I have any dirt in, in any capacity? Wait, maybe someone on auction house. So you can do slash AH or slash auction house, whichever ever one you want, but slash AH is easier. And you can see people sell stuff on here. People will sell ranks. They'll sell cosmetics tons of stuff on here and you can buy this all with in-game money um there's vote tags on here there's just tons and tons of stuff but i want to search for something special dirt is anyone selling dirt oh my gosh okay wait why would you sell dirt for more than it costs in the shop like people are trying to scam me man They're trying to scam me okay maybe we can break that we can break this now oh and that gave us some more uh some more crops uh, island missions we complete wait which one did we just complete? I think the merchant. Oh, 25K, earn 10,000 Sky Queens as an island. Let's go, nice. Okay, what else can we get? $5,000, <gasps> a stack of pigs. Not bad at all, interesting. And we have two more breaks and there we go. We got a bunch of other blocks. So we'll just go ahead and sell um, the blocks. We don't really want those at this time. Um, The stack of pigs, while cool, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do them dirty and knock them off the island if I can. Uh, hit the bottom one. Go off the island. Goodbye, pigs. <laughs> okay, well, now we have enough money to buy dirt because of that mission and our lucky block, which that's why I said always get your lucky block going. So let's do IS deposit sky coins and we'll go ahead and throw 5,000 in the bank and let's upgrade our Hmm, let's upgrade crop growth, growth rate. I think we can do it once. And can we do the lucky block once? No, that costs 10,000. Um, waterless crops is cool. So you don't have to put down water anymore. If you want to, you know, if you have 500,000 sky coins to spare, upgrade how many hoppers you have. Um, but for right now, I think I'm just going to save my sky coins. I don't really need any of this stuff yet. So we'll go ahead and you can also upgrade how many members you can have up to 10 members, 10 friends on your island. Okay, how much dirt can we buy? Because that's the that's the common denominator for success here is how much dirt. So a stack costs 22k. We don't quite need a stack, so I'm going to just buy 48 real quick. Okay, 48 dirt. And yeah, we still have 20k to spare, which is super duper nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and just make this as efficient as I possibly can. So I'll be back in a bit because this is... It's kind of tricky to do, but at the same time, not really. It's just the pattern sometimes can get a little confusing for me because of how my brain works personally. It's not the best brain, but it gets the job done, okay? It gets the job done. Okay, well, I'm just making this area around the sugarcane farm bigger, and then I'm probably going to do something with a little bit of a border around here as well so that we can add some fence. And I, I wised up and I grabbed more water buckets. I'm not sure why I do stuff like this. I'll like have like one water bucket. I have to run back and forth when I have 12 in my inventory. But to maximize the amount of saplings we get, I'm just going to use this hoe and just break them proactively. Uh, hopefully we can get a lot more. 
because we were running low. Remember, we had two, and then we planted all these, and then we were doing fine. We already have 16. So you can enchant a hoe with fortune. I don't know how much it would cost, but it does actually affect it, and that's in vanilla, too. So we'll give it one level of fortune, um, one level of unbreaking, and that should... Uh, it should give us more saplings. You're not making me look good, game. We have 22 now, but yeah, it does help. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have 27 oak saplings. That is, oh, there's five on the ground over here. Okay, we have 32 oak saplings, nice. I really would like some efficiency on this ax, but we gotta we gotta focus our money on other things for right now. Um, because while, we, while the wood is nice and I'll be able to make some fence finally. Like, I mean, I can't believe we bought wood in the beginning of this. Remember, we've come a long way and it's just one episode. We have all these farms going. This is really the best trajectory, I think, that is possible in Skyblock. You want to farm early and uh, make sure your crops are multiplying because that sugarcane is really going to be amazing, especially with the rotating shop. Does anyone remember when I made that sugarcane farm when I was doing my underground Let's Play? Though? This was like three years ago, so I don't know if many people will remember this, but does anyone remember when I made a giant sugarcane farm and then it turned out it literally didn't work at all because water does not break sugarcane? If anyone remembers that, put it in the comments, because, dude, that was that was a feeling. I had spent, like, three hours building this fully automated sugarcane farm. I thought I was on top of the world, man. I had just made the best auto farm ever, and then it just absolutely did nothing. It didn't work at all. Which, <laughs> it was kind of sad at the time, because I had spent so long on this sugarcane farm, and I flipped the switch, because I wanted to, you know, have the first time it works be on camera, and I flipped that switch, and, boy, it did a whole lot of absolutely nothing. But the, the, that, that's what planting this much sugar cane is reminding me of. So one thing I am going to do too is I'm going to go in here and then every one of these water slabs, I'm just going to put down um, a slab on top of the water. That way we can just run through this thing and carve through it and get a ton of sugar cane. So you can see it said competition starting in 30 seconds. So randomly in the chat, you'll see like competitions appear. You'll see a bunch of stuff. It's really cool. Um, there's even little chat games like to guess or unscramble a word. It's just a nice environment on the server, man. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good community of people. We have an amazing staff team. I've become good friends with a lot of them. But let's go ahead. Let's see what this competition is going to be. I'm curious. It'll show up in the chat down there. Now, we probably can't compete just because we don't really have anything. But let's see. It is top five players with the most melons farmed in 10 minutes. And you can win 25,000 Sky Coins and $500,000. Now, we don't have a single melon, so we can't compete. But let's say you did, you could compete. Okay, well that's pretty much all the sugar cane I'm gonna plant for now. Um, we'll go ahead and leave that. I wanna build this little border here and then I wanna build some fence as well. I don't really know how much fence we need, but we'll go ahead and find out here in a second. Now you may be wondering like, well, Neo, what, why is it not becoming night? Well, there's a little setting on here because mobs don't spawn normally, like in Skyblock, you have to use spawners. Um, if you, sorry, if you do slash IS settings, which is your island settings, um, you can change the time of your island. You can also do a bunch of fun stuff in here, so go ahead and check out everything in there. I know a lot of this seems overwhelming, especially if you're new, and maybe if you're just watching, that's, you know, different, but if you're actually going to come on here and play, I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, you'll learn it really quickly. It seems like a lot of commands, but they're really not that difficult. Anything to do with your island is always slash IS space something, so there's like IS missions, it'll pull up your missions, or you can just do slash missions. Um, I know it seems like a lot, but honestly, I think you guys will get used to it pretty quickly. So that already looks a lot better than it did. It's not the best looking island, but it's mine, and I'm proud of that. And look, we got herbalism level one. When you get that up to level 1000, every single crop you break will um, will auto replant, but we're at level one, so we got quite a ways to go for sure. So I'm just gonna do some maintenance things, mine trees as they grow, and, and mine at my cobblestone generator, and uh, we'll see if we can't get enough wood eventually to build ourselves a little bit of a starter base, because we don't have that much, to be fair. Uh, we don't even have enough money. I wanted to buy more dirt, um, just so I could plant like a ton of trees, but we don't have any money, because growing some chunk trees would be kind of nice, because um, we have 27 saplings to plant. So, I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Oh, we just completed Island Master, which is a mission. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, Island Master, a thousand Sky Coins and a thousand XP. Nice, and that was for getting a thousand mastery points. So if we look in mastery, since I've been mining quite a bit, you can see our cobblestone is almost tier one. 
Uh, it looks like coal. I can't exactly see because my, my GUI is so big. Um, but we're, we're getting close to a lot of things. And then hopefully... Oh, and once you complete two personal missions, which let's go ahead and check out if we have. I don't think we have. No, we haven't done any of these. But once you complete two of these, you get access to a servant. And this is just something that will basically just work for you, which is super nice. It'll just like mine for you or kill mobs for you automatically. And then you can sell the drops and make a lot of money. And they give you sky coins. And all you have to do again, completely free, just complete two personal missions. Ooh, guys. Okay, so I don't remember which challenge it was. If we look in missions, I believe it's a personal mission. So we did finally complete one. I don't think we did any other ones. This one we may be able to do pretty quickly, but we need to plant melon and wheat. But this one, mining basic. We just got the specialty pickaxe, which gave us $10,000. The important part is this pickaxe. So we already have efficiency two and fortune two. This one just has haste one on it, which is one of those enchants that you can get. Now, if we did slash enchant to buy those custom enchant books, it costs money. Um, it costs 35,000 for the lowest tier. So there's no point. Uh, but I will keep this pickaxe. It does have unbreaking two. It's only missing efficiency two, which if we look at the cost to like enchant this, I'm pretty sure it's not really that expensive. Like, yeah, it'd be like 12,000. And uh, so we'll basically have a new pickaxe now, which is nice. So I'm convincing everyone that I'm not the Neo Cubist because I don't have owner back to my name. I am the Neo Cubist official account. Hi guys. And I'm purposely like spelling stuff really bad. It's funny because <laughs> someone said earlier, someone said uh, time to ban. Let's see, where does it say? Um, someone said they should ban me. Someone said that's just a fan. No one believes me. I am the real Neo Cubist. There's a Neo impersonator banned for identity theft. <laughs> I feel like that has to be bannable. No, no, I am the real Neo Cubist. I promise. I porms. <laughs> I porms. I am the new. I am the real <laughs> Nico Oobst. <laughs> Neo can spell. A kid did a federal crime in a game. They don't believe me, dude. They don't believe me. I am the Neo Cubist official. Hey guys, anyone want to play with me? Wake ban him. That's one of our admins. They're telling him. <laughs> so funny. Uh, Neo, t Neo, tell me something. I've told you. I don't even know. Even if like I am, anyone know that person name? So we can. Rep R report. <laughs> the report. It's just so funny, dude. They don't believe me. My name, my name is literally the 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 Neo Cubist. The Neo Cubist is me. <laughs> they don't believe. This is so funny. I love because I don't have owner next to my name because I wanted to play as like a normal player without any rank or anything. And, uh, like, I literally have no rank. Like, I'm just playing, like, a regular player that has, you know, nothing. Wait, that's not Neo. <laughs> no, don't, don't feed him. No, oh, Wake's feeding him now. Neo would spend this much trying to convince us. I am the Neo Cubist. Well, at least now people won't, like, bother me with messages, I guess, right? I guess that's one benefit. I have been getting a lot of wood. I've just been grinding out wood and stuff, and, uh, things are going pretty well. He has the same username. I told y'all that's not Neo. Yeah, it really is. No one else has this name. It's mine. I am Neo. <laughs> I wonder if they'll believe me now, aiding and abetting. Doesn't have owner tag. Because I am recording right now. You are all caught live on video accusing accusing me <laughs> so I can say this I'll just spam it and now let's see let's see if they'll say hi YouTube maybe just call the FBI what a guy did identity theft in a block game oh no no one said hi YouTube red chat or not in here <laughs> okay well I just realized this episode is close to an hour long so we're gonna call it here I've been mining we have well, let me go grab my cell wand first. I get some, oh, get some up PV1. Let's grab my cell wand real quick. I have a bunch of wood, so we'll definitely get to building a house next episode, which should be out very soon. There should be like two or three days between episodes, something like that. 
And so that's how much stuff I've been mining. And that's $20,000. So look at that. So we should be able to finally make this specialty pickaxe. I think, yeah, we were missing the efficiency. So let's do slash enchant, enchant shop, and then get efficiency up. Okay, so now they're even. Um, this one even has more unbreaking. So we can go ahead and just like sell this. Uh, a H hand. So auction house your hand and then you say the price. I'm going to sell it for $1. So I'm going to try to help somebody out. That's new. I'm going to say cheap pick on a H for a new player. Oh, oh, it already sold already sold. Yep. So someone already bought it. So we got $1 and now we have a nice pickaxe. Now the haste will only like happen randomly. It's not a constant effect. Um, so you can see like sometimes it'll mine fast sometimes it won't but this definitely gives us a really good base We can probably honestly even spend a little bit more money if we wanted to and get like another level of efficiency. No Nope, we can't do any of that. But anyways guys, thank you all for watching the first episode again I'd love to see you come on the server. Trust me I didn't think I'd like skyblock servers until well I owned one and then I started playing it and I was like dude This is really fun there's definitely a learning curve as with anything new, but it's basically an entirely new game mode inside of Minecraft. Like this is all done by a full custom development team. And it's just, I don't know. I'm very proud to own the fifth biggest skyblock server in the world. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the secret code for today's episode, which is something I do on my channel to confuse new viewers. Cause you know, when you, when you click on a video, you scroll down to the comments to see what people are saying. And if people scroll down to the comments and they see a random like four digit code, which this is the secret code for today's episode. It's 0823. So you put 0823 down in the comments below. I'll know that you watch the entirety of the video because only like 5% of people actually watch to the end. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. Look, we already got one secret code in there. Um, I appreciate you guys more than you know. If you're new, I'd appreciate a subscription. I'd also appreciate a like on the video, but you do what you want. You do what makes you happy in life because remember, you only got one life, so live it right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in episode two. Bye.